Welcome to Primavera P6 Tutorials. Today we will learn about reporting. Reporting from Primavera to Excel. Now, see for example, someone asks you how many number of slabs have you planned in every month or how many slabs have you actually casted in every month. What we will have to do is that go to individual slab casting date and count every slab coming in every month like in may we have one slab june we have two in july we have two in august we have three and so on and for actuals we would have to do the same so we would have to make a simple format for everyone to understand easily as a result we we'll prepare this chart this chart represents the number of slabs planned for every month the cumulative plan numbers and also actuals and the cumulative actuals. What you need to do is copy all of this into Excel. Now let's scroll down at the bottom till the last slab. Okay, copy and then paste here. So now let's expand the rows. If you see, we have many columns that we do not need. We can just delete these columns. And also we don't delete need this start date. Next thing we have to do is select the data area. Let's apply a filter. Now let's untick this. Only keep the blanks tick. Click OK. Now if you see everything is filled out. Now let's come down to the bottom and then just delete this. So now let's clear the filter now if you see the only thing left is activity id slab concrete date and the finish concrete date these are the casting dates we do not need this we can just delete this so let just clear this copy copy our data let's come on the side and let's Pay special paste and Excel we have the option called transpose. What it does is that it will transport a horizontal data into vertical form or a vertical data into horizontal form. Since it is a vertical data that we need to paste it in the horizontal, we can just click on transport and then click on OK. Let's expand the columns. Okay. Now we no longer need this. Let's just delete this. Let's come delete the extra rows and come at the top. Okay. Now if you see, we have the casting date as per date 7 May, 6 June. July, August, and so on. And if you come to the chart, it only represents the month and the numbers for that month. So we need to convert these dates into a month. If you go to internet and search for how to count between dates, You would find many results. You can find many formulas and many methods to count. But one I'm going to show is the best one that I know of that works better for me. Let's come back to here. First thing you do is convert the date into a month format. Plus text. This value, comma. 
month year let's close the bracket now let's stress this now we no longer need the activity id so we can just delete this now if you see carefully we convert the date has converted into month format first june is now 616 20 june is 616 again july is on 716 and 24 july is 716 and so on let's bring this down let's write date first middle on 16 let's convert it change its format let's come down month and year click on ok now let's stretch this now how far do we have to stretch it now our last lab casting date is in September 2017 so let's stretch it till 2017 let's stretch it to 2017 now now let's convert the months into a monthly text format text select the value month and year close the bracket So let's stretch. Count if in this range comma what is the criteria that we need to count over here? it need to count this value let's close the bracket may 16 that it need to count now what we say is that excel is counting 016 into this value ranges let's drag this now you can just drag the formula if you just drag it the range formula moves uh, with the formula itself so if you keep dragging it will keep dragging along with it so what you do is give a horizontal lock to the first formula and now stretch the formula now as you see the range is still where it should be it has not moved now no, let's just hide this let's move them down plan these are the months that cumulative plan actual and cumulative actual now let's make a table of this now let's add borders now let's add the cumulative plan formula Well, let's prepare a graph we have now selected our graph data range let's create our chart let's click this one okay now next thing we do is go to page break view let's view page break 
let's just crop it to our graph area let's bring a graph in the middle and first change the start type let's select this one let's expand and bring to a grid field now if you look closer this chart does not look like this chart over here we have histogram we have a cumulative line showing but over here we have all histogram showing what we need to do is click on right click change start type now the series will show up let's go to cumulative and change line type and put it on secondary axis cumulative actual line and put it on secondary axis click on ok and if you're using older version of excel what you would have to click on individual data series and right click and change chart type for individual data series now now let's right click over here change format axis let's change the orientation okay that looks better now And now this axis represents the numbers the number of slabs for a histogram and this axis represents the cumulative number for our slabs for a cumulative line graph what we can do is that right click former axis now say you want to increase with a step of 1 now if you see over here the graph increase with the step of 0.5 let's just increase with the step of 1 see the height of histogram does not match with the height of a cumulative graph so if you click on reset you see that the height of histogram now matches with the height of the cumulative graph now excel does this automatically now we'll keep it at step of 1 okay then change series of cumulative graph also let's in, in give it an increment of 3 now now let's try to update this see we have cast one slab two slab and okay now we have we have a plan and we have actual let's separate them a little bit for better viewing now we'll also add a cumulative graph so let's give it a cumulative formula for a cumulative actual let's drag this okay now now before we move any further let's change the axis name let's cut this and type as plan numbers and the secondary and uh, total secondary let's change this to cumulative plan numbers okay now change the chart title to slab tracking plan versus actual now we can see the difference in the cumulative cumulative plan versus the cumulative actual you can clearly see the difference in the cumulative graph what you can do is that right click on data labels and data labels similarly and data labels and you can see we have for plan number we have some plan actuals now right click on the graph and data labels and let's just change location and bring it above the line let's make it bold 
similarly for the keyboard actual right click add data labels and make it bold now you see that you can keep either of them either you can keep the histogram numbers or you can keep the cumulative number value whichever is better for you if you want you can change the line color or text color now let's come back to the beginning in the beginning we had copied the data and pasted in excel let's expand the columns again let's delete the unwanted columns now if you remember we had filtered some data from the data area now if now let's just convert this date directly into text text month year okay close the bracket okay not what happens over here is that what is happening is that the date at this level is being reflected of the activity dates say over here activity date is being reflected at this the blue base level so when you copy it in excel the activity date is being reflected at the blue base level say for as june well. let's copy now let's copy the text formula Let's count if. Let's select a range, and let's give a criteria. Now you see that it's showing the June slabs for time. What it's doing is it also converting the slab activity date, also the WBS summary dates, and that is why it is showing for time. That is why you have to filter out the WBS date. And only keep the activity date. So, now what I did was I loaded the program with uh, concrete material with its default units. You can just go to filter, filter to resource ID name concrete, and just copy, and then you can and then paste it in Excel. Let's just expand the columns and now we can just prepare a graph. I'm just going to skip to it and let's just write concrete meter cube. You can use this graph uh, to show the plan concrete every month. For your project, cumulative okay, concrete meter cube, and over here you can just give the actual, the actual concrete port every month, and let's make cumulative over here. Okay, plus okay. Now let's just expand it. Now you can use this graph to show the cumulative plan or the plan concrete every month to the histogram and the cumulative graphs. You can use a similar KPA procedure for block work cluster or any other material resource loading you have done in your program. Thank you for watching. Until next time.